So Scorpios, this is going to be your catch a vibe read. really fast and then we'll get started. I now call upon the divine omnipotent source energy that reigns supreme, my higher self and my highest evolved ancestors to be present at this time. I ask you to please keep me safe as you use my vessel to be a clear, open, honest and accurate channel for the messages you have for Scorpios today and please allow me to articulate them as you intend for their highest and greatest good. Thank you for all you do in every way and allowing me to do this work on your behalf. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get it. All right. Let's see. For Scorpio Spirit, what is the focal point? <clears throat> These readings is going to be not time specific. They are going to be um, intended for... Um, it's going to do them daily, but we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> first card out is first quarter moon in Pisces honor your feelings so I feel like for you Scorpios there's something that may be coming up for you guys especially with this um full moon energy that we're still in the shadow phase of and um that was yesterday for some of you today depending on where you are in the world but I feel like there's something that's coming up for you or this could be more than one thing that's coming up for you guys that you're really supposed to asking you to go ahead and just deal with, you know, go ahead and just honor that, yes, this happened. Yes, I feel like this. Yes, um, you know, this wasn't cool or, you know, whatever that is for you. And really allow yourself to sit with that. Allow yourself to feel through that. Because as you do that, once you allow that process to take place, there's a plane flying outside my window. I'm sorry, you guys. But I'm, I stop apologizing for certain sounds, little things that come up for me that's confirmation. So... Um, you know, take it as it applies, but I feel like, I really feel like this is spirit asking you guys to really allow yourself to sit with your emotions today. Okay. If there's anything that comes up for you that, you know, is kind of like, where did that come from? Like, I haven't thought about that in a long time, or I haven't thought about that person in forever, you know, or if it's a situation or a past experience or, you know, something like that. Spirit's asking you, um, today, Scorpios, to really allow yourself to sit with that, you know, whatever that is for you. And as you allow that process to happen, nine times out of ten, you don't, you will never have to revisit it again. Okay, if you do have to revisit it again, it won't be nearly as painful. It won't be as bad. Um, and this is just allowing yourself, like you, you're, you deserve that. Okay, especially if it's stuff from like your, um, like your childhood, things like that. Your inner child, let them. You know, if a kid needs to cry. We normally just let them cry. Let them deal with their emotions. Let them you know process that however long it takes and let them work through that move through that and then when they're done you know they're done and they move on with their day and it's like okay it never happened right it's like think about when we were kids how many times we you know fall or bump our, our knee on something or scratch ourselves or you know hurt ourselves in some type of way and we cry and we and we pout about it and we're mad at ourselves about it and then we go through that process so right we allow ourselves to feel through that and we get it all cleaned up and put a band-aid on it and move on about our day and then you know years later you don't think about it again right so I'm not saying that it's always that easy but it's just the point is is allowing yourself to really just honor whatever does come up for you today okay this is that full moon energy so there's going to be things that are going to come up to clear out to make room okay for you to get to the next step for you to go to the next level go to the next you know part of your journey okay and so I feel like I really feel like this is you know, for some of you, that's what this is. Um, something that may be coming up for you guys at this time that could be really challenging, okay? And, but Spirit's asking, it's coming up for a reason. If it's coming up, it's coming up for purpose. So the best bet is to just allow yourself to feel through it, navigate through it as best you can, and, you know, keep going forward, okay? Let's get a tarot card and see how this is supporting this reading. So for Scorpios, we've been even the most today. And I'm not doing any clarifiers or anything like that. I intend these are specifically intended to be short, sweet, to the point. Um, I'll take that one too. Just so, just so, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you watch a lot of readings anyway. So we don't, it's like, it just, it doesn't help you to have a whole bunch of different type of messages that could be for someone else. And then you're not knowing, you're more confused about what to do with it and how it's supposed to help you. So that's why mine are just going to be super short, sweet, to the point, simple, and, you know, 
you'll take what resonates and leave what doesn't, right? So, um, we have Queen of Pentacles and the Hangman, okay? Queen of Swords is at the bottom, Three of Swords is underneath that. So, I really feel like there's something that, you know, there's some type of pain, painful experience that I feel like some of you are feeling at this time. It could have to do with um, a connection, it could have to do for if you're a Scorpio male watching, um, this could have to do with a feminine energy that you're in a connection with, that you're in a relationship with. For others of you, this is your household, okay? This is your, um, you're feeling stuck in a, in a connection that you're in right now. Some of you are, you know, needing the spirits really asking you to sit with that today and really honor that I really feel like I'm stuck with this person or I feel like I'm, you know, stuck in a connection that I don't need to be in anymore, you know, that I know isn't working for me, you know, that I need to just go ahead and cut off because sometimes you realize that it's more painful to stay okay it's more painful to stay where we don't belong but you know sometimes if we don't believe in ourselves enough or believe that we can have better deserve better that keeps us stuck and the reason why i say that is because all this yellow energy all right going on here all three of these cards are yellow your yellow is your solar plexus chakra okay so that governs your sense of self that governs your confidence your sense of safety security and you know being in tune with who you are right so I feel like for some of you, um, Scorpios, this is that energy where Spirit's asking you to really honor how you're feeling in that. If you're feeling that, you know what, this is just causing more pain than it's worth and I really need to just let this go, then, you know, and, and start over, have a new beginning, do something different, see something from a higher perspective. That's what Spirit is asking you to do at this time, okay? So allow yourself to really feel through that, okay? Stay as grounded as possible as you can, but um, I feel like for some of you, others of you, this could definitely be talking about a job situation, okay? Talking about um, the way you make money, okay? Spirit could be asking you to see it from a different perspective. Allow yourself to, you know, see it differently, okay? And that maybe will help you decide what it is you need to do, you know, going forward to rectify the situation, but... I feel like some of you are really, there's things coming up for you today that you really need to go ahead and just, you know, allow yourself to sit with and really feel what you need to feel about that. So that way you can move forward, let it go, you know, whatever that is for you, you'll know when it comes up, but you can't, you won't get that clarity if we're not even honoring the fact that it's there, right? We have to acknowledge its presence first before we can even think about how to, how to fix it or navigate through it, right? So what is the advice for Scorpio's? Okay, please. Advice for Scorpios. For the highest and greatest good. Help them with this situation. All right, we have mercy. Let compassion fill your world. Offer kindness to all living things. You give, you what you give, you also receive. Absolutely. So I feel like for some of you, you know, be compassionate with yourself, but be compassionate with others as well. Okay. I really feel like this is about you. I feel like for some of you Scorpios, the Scorpios, I know at least they're always putting out and helping others, always taking on other people's shit, you know, trying to be, the, they're, they're the healers of the bloodline. Like that's, that's what Scorpios do. They represent that death and rebirth energy. And I feel like some of you may be going through that energy at this time. And that's, you know, spirits really asking you to honor whatever's coming up for you allow yourself to feel through that so you can heal through that right we grow through what we go through so if you feel through it then you can heal through it right and be gentle with yourself be gentle with yourself but also be gentle with others as you navigate through this energy okay power is at the bottom call upon the elements focus your intentions the greatest dragon is within you absolutely so you guys know how powerful you are so be gentle with yourself that also means though that although you're a very powerful sign that you still have feelings at the end of the day you're still you know a human being in this in, in this particular experience right we're all spirits but we're humans in this experience right now so this still means that as powerful as you guys know you are okay if you're still you, that means you, you're still gonna have stuff that's gonna come up that you're gonna still need to deal with you know as a human being in this lifetime so you know allow that process and be gentle with yourself in doing so okay I hope this reading was helpful for you, Scorpio. I hope that you found some insight, some guidance that could help you on your journey. Um, please like the video if you liked it, if it helped you at all. Please consider subbing to the channel if you haven't. I greatly appreciate either or both. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I'm outie.